Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I am so happy to see you here today. I also hope that you are doing great and I'm sure you will be doing even better. In today's video, we shall be discussing the fragrance or the perfume. Well, everybody knows what fragrance is, men and women wearing it and um, it is actually like a staple in our modern society. Wearing a fragrance in some way is the art and I'm pretty sure that everyone who cannot uh, breathe sitting next to a woman or a man in the bus or in the plane or in the train will definitely understand what I'm referring to. Well, the thing is that some people don't really understand um, that, like let's say women, that a man supposed to, he's supposed to smell your fragrance when he's kissing you in the neck or when you're just passing by, but not when you're standing five feet away from him. So that's why I'm saying that it is an art and um, in today's video we shall pay a close attention to fragrance or perfume in these skincare products. So I think this topic is very important because uh, nowadays we are overwhelmed with fragrance in uh, uh, skincare products and I think we need to point why it is very bad to use skincare products which contain fragrance. I started with uh, uh, bringing you an example of people wearing fragrances because I hope you will you will agree with me that it's pretty often when you're buying uh, the perfume you really need to make sure that it's kind of yours and it fits you perfectly. You don't feel irritated when you're wearing it or you don't have a headache which happens um, in lots of cases too. So basically all this means that Fragrance perfume does something like pr plays a very big role in your brain. So basically, the same thing happens with your skin if you are using skincare products that contain fragrance. Being overwhelmed uh, by fragrance in every everything in our life right now doesn't really seem uh, weird to people, and people like it because they like when something smells good. I pretty understand that, but if you just take a second and think that you have fragrance or perfume. Um, in your detergent and then you're using those sheets when you, um, which you're drying your clothes with because you want it to smell like fresh mountains even though your detergent already smells like that you have that in I just hope here you don't use that for any children's clothes because that's not the best idea and you have that in everything you have that in your soap in your uh, lotion toners, um, you know, eye cream, just cream, serum, basically anything. You just you can just go to your bathroom and continue the list. Of course, I understand that the reason why we are surrounded by products containing fragrance because basically we are not surrounded by products that do not contain fragrance and it is really, a, you know, it's, it's a big deal to find a good company which is making a fragr fragrance-free um, line of skincare products or you know home products whatever you use to clean the house to wash your clothes with but still luckily there are some and i think if after listening right now what fragrance does to your skin you will probably spend a while and find the, the company that works best for you what is fragrance in skincare anyway first of all it is actually difficult to figure it out because the like what is in fragrances because there is no disclosure required by FDA or any other agencies uh, for the fragrances in a wide range of for consumer products. On the on, um, and the second of all, you always need to remember that even though you do not need, you don't know exactly what inside it, that fragrance formula. It is always it will always be chemicals. To have more facts here, we can bring an example of one recent study by, done by EPA where they found 10 organic compounds um, that were considered toxic and hazardous and they were found like in six different common brands of air refreshments and laundry products. This actually um, sounds alarming to me because you are using these things almost on a daily basis. Your whole family uses it and you are using it for your kids as well. If we take a look on the EWG database, um, fragrance will have the highest score of the overall hazard uh, toward the, towards the human body. If um, they have the score from zero to eight, so that will have score number eight. On the product label, the word fragrance or perfume or aroma, um, it actually represents an undisclosed mixture of various scent and chemicals and ingredients 
used as fragrance. Fragrance mixes have been associated with uh, um, allergies, with skin allergies, with uh, respiratory distress and most likely uh, it has potential effect on the reproductive system. If all that is so hazardous and dangerous, why the skincare products keep doing producing all those uh, skincare products um, with fragrances. So first of all, all the skincare companies, they do understand that, you know, a normal woman, she usually, um, what is, how is she shopping? With her nose, of course, and she would definitely prefer a uh, jar of the cream with a nice and even, you know, crazy smell, the one that you really like, rather than just um, a jar of the cream which doesn't really smell that nice because of all the ingredients in it. But just, again, take another second here and think, are you buying this cream because you want your face smell nice? or you buying it because of this cream, because of the ingredients in this cream, because of its anti-aging, anti-redness effect or anything, but because does your skin really require to smell nice? And then I guess you will agree with me that the answer will be, you know, no, you don't really need that. You're buying a cream because you want to take care of your skin. And then if you want to smell nice, you using um, the fragrance or the perfume, if you're buying the lotions because you want to smell nice, that's a little bit different. I will just concentrate here on the face because um, so just we could discuss the uh, the effect and the fragrance on your face. But of course, the same thing goes with any lotion you're using or applying on your skin. Absolutely the same thing. So definitely, if you want to smell nicely, um, probably one just perfume will be enough. You don't need to apply the perfume on you, then the lotion, then the skincare cream that smells nice, and then never forget about all the hair care products which have really strong smell, many, many other things. So just imagine that every other thing that you're applying on your body has fragrance in it. To be more specific and probably persuaded here, I would just share with you uh, the fact that it, um, it is fragrance is a huge allergen which causes inflammation in your skin. No matter whether the fragrance is synthetic or natural, it is almost always a problem for your skin. I already hear the question, um, okay, I've been using this product for like years and I really don't see any irritation on my skin. My skin looks, you know, flawless and great and I love my cream. Well, the answer will be also pretty simple is that on the surface of your skin, you cannot see the irritation. But all those um, irritants, whatever is in that fragrance mixture, they are working below the surface of your skin. And what are they doing is basically they um, are breaking down the collagen production, the collagen itself. They are enabling the ability of your skin to uh, protect itself against the environmental uh, stresses and everything. And uh, of course, they are enabling your, um, your skin, they, yes. And also they are preventing your skin to heal properly. People who have sensitive skin, if you are you have acne prone skin, if you are prone to rosacea, eczema and any other um, skin problems, you should never use products containing fragrance. And even people with the sensitive skin, they actually do see the irritation even on the surface when your skin is red, when your skin is flaky. And this is the might be the answer for many people why you can, your acne is not going away or why you keep having more breakouts or why the scars do not heal after you have acne. All this might be caused by fragrance. I've mentioned that the fragrance could be of a natural uh, origin, let's say if it is some essential oil or it's natural fragrant oils, it doesn't matter what it is, it will also be irritating on your skin. Let's say, for example, it could be a peppermint oil or the lemon oil or the orange oil, anything. It will be irritating on your skin. And then here I could recommend you either to use it um, um, you know, in moderation or of course if you have sensitive skin, do not use them at all costs.
So when you're shopping organic or natural uh, cosmetics that might be also deceiving for you as well, as they include, again, lots of essential oils and uh, they are unfortunately potent um, triggers for skin sensi sensitizing and uh, allergic uh, reactions. In the description of this video, I will put all, like the list of everything you need to avoid if you see that on the, on the label of the product, of the ingredients. And uh, if you're shopping any cosmetic that says that um, it is especially um, you know for sensitive skin or it's hyperallergenic or if it is like dermatologist tested please don't get um, really deceived by these words as well because these are just basically marketing terms and they do not mean anything again most of the companies especially those who do their products for sensitive skin so this is basically just the word game for you to you know to catch your eye and then you buy this product but many companies do not even put all the ingredients on the label and um, in this case if you have sensitive skin or you have a really you like suffering because you cannot really pick the right product for your skin or if you want to use something for your kid um, you can also always contact the company and request them to provide you with a full um, list of the ingredients so some of course will you know happily do that but some will definitely not so then you make your own uh, decision and never use that company if you would like I could, um, you know you could ask me and I can give you some suggestions of the company of the cosmetic companies that are having products you know completely fragrance free and they are really good on the market so if you want that I could share this information with you as well So I hope you understand that. Um, what, so I hope you understand what fragrance can do on your skin um, when you're using it in uh, skincare products or actually in any other product. So you shouldn't. You really need to try to avoid it as much as possible. Maybe do some homemade things because they are also very good for your skin. Or just really do a research on the internet and find the companies that don't use fragrance in their products. Of course, the hardest thing I think is actually to find the um, you know the company who does. The products you know for your hair which is which are uh, fragrance free I know that the hair itself of course it doesn't react on the fragrance anyhow but your scalp your neck and your back really suffers a lot and uh, they can cause lots of skin disorders and allergies so you need to make sure if you notice that your scalp is acting weird or you know you have the acne you know in this area where you're using um, the shampoo or you know the hair spray stop using that and just see the difference so I know that it may you know I know that it might sound maybe overwhelming uh, but you know, if you want to be beautiful, if you want to be healthy, if you want to be sure that you're doing something the right way, I think it's worth it. And you could definitely start little by little and just go to your bathroom again and see what you could replace already today. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the conclusion for today's video is going to be very simple is that avoiding products that use irritants we that we've discussed in this video is the best way for your skin to stay healthy and uh, to look great i hope you like this video please put the thumbs up if you do subscribe to my channel i wish you to stay happy healthy handsome and beautiful and i will see you later So fragrance as the ingredient is only done for you to enjoy the smell of the product. But of course, it doesn't do any good to your skin. It's not collagen, it's not peptides, it's not, um, I don't know, retinol, anything. It is not vitamin E. It's uh, something that is just irritating your skin and nothing else. And I'm pretty sure that you could use a cream without smelling it nice, you know, without a nice smell, without any problem. 
and I'm pretty sure that you could use um, face cream, which doesn't really smell that nice, without any problem.